state and prove the rational root test. Uh, the statement of the rational root test is that if f is a polynomial with integer coefficients and a non-zero constant term, and let's suppose that r is equal to p over q is a root of f in lowest terms, then the numerator p divides the constant term, while the denominator q divides the leading term a sub n. Okay, let's prove this. Uh, first, uh, let's do the first part that p divides a sub naught. So suppose that next, that f of p over q, which equals a sub n times p over q to the n plus a sub n minus 1 times p over q to the n minus 1 plus a sub 1 times p over q plus a sub 0 equals 0. So what I've written here is the polynomial f except in place of x I've put the value of x p over q. Then if I just simply clear out the denominators, but if I multiply both sides by um, q to the nth power, then the right-hand side would still be 0. On the left-hand side, uh, the first term would be a sub n times p to the n. The next term would be a sub n minus 1 times p to the n minus 1. Then I have q to the n divided by q to the n minus 1. That leaves me q to the first. For the second to last term, I have a sub 1 times p times q to the n divided by q. So that would give me q to the n minus 1. And then finally, a sub 0 times q to the n is simply q to the n. So what I've done from the uh, first red line to the second red line is simply multiply by q to the n to clear out the denominators. Okay, now here's where we will prove that p divides a sub 0. Uh, first, let's put the second to last, the last term on the right-hand side, and everything else we'll leave on the left-hand side. So then, uh, a sub n, p to the n, plus a sub n minus 1 p to the n minus 1 times q plus a sub 1 times p q to the n minus 1 is equal to negative a sub 0 times q to the n. So p times a sub n p to the n minus 1 plus dot, 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 plus a sub 1 times q to the n minus 1 is equal to negative a sub 0 times q to the n. Now the thing inside the parentheses is an integer. By assumption, all the a's are integers because f is a polynomial with integer coefficients. Also, the p and the q are integers because we're assuming that that's how the rational number r is written in lowest terms. So the thing in the parentheses is an integer. So um, the thing on the right-hand side is an integer. Of course, p itself is an integer. And therefore, p divides uh, negative a sub naught times q sub n. Now, by assumption, p and q have no common factors. P and Q, P divided by Q is written in lowest terms, and so the GCD of P and Q is equal to 1. So from a theorem in class, P divides this product, but P and Q have no common factors, and therefore P and Q to the n have no common factors. So the only possibility is that P divides a sub 0, because P does not, there's p and q have no common factors and therefore p must divide a sub 0. So that is the first part. 
Uh, the second part of the theorem is going to be very similar, and so I encourage you to st pause the video at this point and see if you can do it on your own, and then, um, uh, then restart the video. Okay, so let's now do the second part. And we'll again start from the red line here, except this time we'll keep the first term, a sub n p of the n, on one side, and move that over to the right-hand side and leave everything else on the left-hand side. Then a sub n minus 1, p to the n minus 1, times q, plus a sub 1 times p, q to the n minus 1, plus a sub 0 times q to the n, is equal to negative a sub n, p to the n. So I've moved the first term in this red expression to the right-hand side and left the other terms alone. So just like before, q times a sub n minus 1 times p to the n minus 1 plus a sub 0 times q to the n minus 1, just factoring the q out that's common to all those terms. That's equal to negative a sub n p to the n. So q divides negative a sub n times p to the n. Now once again, q and p have no common factors. And so the GCD of p and q is equal to 1. So q and p have no common factor, so the only possibility is that q divides a sub n. Based on the theorem that we proved in class back in the number theory section of the course. And that ends the proof. Okay. So the basic idea is that we plug in p over q, we isolate one, either the very first term or the very last term and then follow our noses when we plug, when we uh, factor the remaining terms.